Once again, good morning. 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 This is a great day when you come before a great audience to celebrate an outstanding member of our community, Miss Maggie Lewis Butler. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just to be here um, 10 years and to have worked with Ms. Lewis Butler and all the guidance and mentoring she provided for me through the years, it is truly amazing and outstanding, and that's what each generation should do. They should pass the torch on to the younger generation and give them the wisdom and insight to be successful. And Ms. Lewis Butler has done an outstanding job of that and continue to be involved in her community, and that's what we try to instill in all of our students at James S. Rickards High School. I would like for our elected officials to stand so they can be acknowledged at this time. All of our elected officials, please stand and be acknowledged at this time. You know, all are not speaking, but just want to make sure we acknowledge them and everything they do for our community. Thank you. To my administrative team that are here, that are working, and all of my teachers that are here to support and make this event a successful event, Please acknowledge at this time by waving your hand. That's Mr. Colwer, Dr. Palmer, Dr. Superintendent is in the back, Mr. John Humphrey Yard for safety and security as well. Just want to acknowledge them and Mr. Smith, my tech con, for making sure we have everything set up today. So I would like to thank them for everything that they've accomplished uh, with me during this school year. And also, we have in the very back, when you look at our gorgeous campus, and I will be brief, Miss Allison Garber is in the back. She's uh, been inspired, just been just outstanding in making sure. Look at this wonderful, beautiful campus at this time. And to Miss Lewis Butler family, thank you guys for being here. It is truly amazing and outstanding. So with that being said, we want to go ahead and we want to bring forward uh, Mr. R.B. Holmes, Reverend of Beth the Baptist to come here and give us the uh, prayer. Ms. Reverend Holmes. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Eternal God, for this day we say thank you for blessing us to be here to celebrate this great accomplishment and achievement. Yes, we yes, say yes, thank, yes. You. thank you for the record high school family for Leon County School Board, we say thank you. Yeah. For the faithful years that Mike and Lewis Butler served yeah. 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 on the school board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For her leadership, her humility, her strength, and her help, we say thank you. Thank yeah. you. As we come to dedicate this science building, in her honor, yes. we know you are the creator of heaven and earth. Yes. We bless your name. Yes. We bless Maggie and her family. Yes. Yes. We bless this science building. Yes. In your name, Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Holmes. Always welcome at Rick James S. Rickles High School. Before we move on, I'd like to uh, always acknowledge our superintendent. I wanted to do it, you know, kind of separate today in reference to the vision to keep James S. Rickards High School at 3013 Jim Lee Road. So please give Superintendent Hannah a round of applause because he did an outstanding job of working with the architects for the vision of our school. We also have Senator William J. Mumford. The third is here today, and he's going to come up and, and give a few words at this time. We also want to thank the senator for all of his years of contributions to Leon County Schools and our entire community. Senator Mumford. Nope, 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 I'm wrong. That's why I need to put these on. Senator, I'm sorry. See, this is why you wear these. It is the superintendent for his reflection, Superintendent Hannah. Like, yeah, I would rather not follow uh, Senator Montford to be honest with you, uh, or, or Member Jones. So uh, uh, thank you for putting me up on the uh, on the program. This is a special day, a special day for me as superintendent uh, to see 
this uh, dream of mine, of ours, uh, come to fruition. Uh, this was a commitment that I made to this community six years ago when I first was running to become school superintendent, that for far too long this school and this school community had been neglected and overlooked and done without. And I made a commitment when I was first elected that we were going to do something about that. And I know there was a lot of discussion about moving off of the hill, moving to south, even further south down Tram Road. But after listening to a number of the, of the alumni here at Rickards High School, they wanted to stay right here. But they, but they recognized as well that things had to change. And brick, and brick and mortar do not necessarily make a school, but they go a long way in, in uh, how a young person feels about the school and the pride they have in their school and their facility and where they want to be. And so I don't know how many of you all graduated from Rickards High School, right? So if you look, if you were to walk up now, you would not even recognize the school. You, you simply wouldn't. Amen. It was also a commitment I made to Miss Lewis Butler, because for years there had been nothing but band-aids put on this facility, and my commitment to her was this would not be a band-aid, Miss Lewis Butler. These would be significant changes that would make this school something that this these children and the community be proud of for, for years to come. Fifty million dollars later, here we are. <laughs> After conversations with uh, board member Jones, board member Bowen, and, and other and, and Miss Wood, and, and uh, the rest of the school board, and given her long history starting as a science teacher, a middle school science teacher, we thought it was only fitting that we named this building, the Science Building at James S. Richter's High School in honor of Miss Lewis Butler. Yeah. There, for the last six years, probably has not been a Sunday that passes by that my wife and I don't come to, to look at this project. That's how important this has been to me. This project and the one right down the street at Fairview. Because again, those schools for too long had gone without and so today is a very proud moment for me. I'm sure, I hope it's a proud moment for Miss Lewis Butler because for hereever after, her name will be a part of this school and this school community as children walk these halls uh, in the years and the decades to come that she will always be remembered for her advocacy for Southside Schools, for Rickards High School. Uh, and this is only, it's the right thing to do. It's absolutely the right thing to do. So I know we have students that are gonna be coming out and going to lunch. I promised I would be brief. But Mr. Uh, Jones talks many times about a legacy and leaving a legacy during your time uh, in elected office because you only have so long. I am, I am really proud that this will be part of, of my legacy. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very proud of that. And I'm also very proud that part of my legacy is tied to Maggie Lewis Butler. So Maggie Lewis Butler, congratulations, God bless you. And this time I'd like to bring up the man who gave me an opportunity in Leon County Schools. He hired me as a young teacher and coach at Lincoln uh, 30, 30 plus years ago. Uh, he uh, gave me an opportunity to serve as principal of my alma mater at Leon High School in 2005. He's been a true mentor and friend, not only to me, but to, to literally thousands and thousands of other individuals. So uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Senator Montford to give a few words. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent, and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a time of celebration, all right? It is a time to recognize, I, Maggie, I've just got to apologize. I've just got to call her Maggie. All right. Well, I know her official name, but let me tell you what. Let me tell you what's really important to me to be here today. Maggie is one of the best friends that I've ever made in the Leon County School District. One of the very best friends. I can tell you, I don't know anybody that has been more supportive of me throughout the years, more honest. And I'm telling you, she is a, and she's probably not politically correct. She is a sweet lady. I mean, I have seen her. But I, and I know when we talked last Thursday or Friday, she said, now, Bill, you've got to keep it short. Okay? We're going to be, the program is total 30 minutes, and you can't have too much of it. So, all right. Now, let me, but I've got to give you a little bit of our history. All right. 
I started teaching at Bellevue Middle School in 1969, a math teacher, and guess who was right next door? Maggie, who took care of me all those years. You know, let me tell you what she would do. She would come over. She knew my mom, okay? Now, mom's my, uh, in my, my mom's generation, you can look at me and tell, they believe you gotta be fed right, okay? <laughs> and my mom met Maggie and Aquilina Howell, and and uh, and said you got to take care of my boy, all right? And they did. And when you stop and look back at the history of this school district, names pop up: Aquilina Howell, Freeman Ashmore, mm -hmm. Amos Godby, Freeman Lawrence, right. John Lawrence. I can go on and on. All these names you know. Maggie's name should be right at the yeah. very top. Right at the very top. If you go back and look at the history of this school district, and you ask yourself, who had, has had the most impact on the lives of children? The lives of children. Maggie Lewis's name is at the very top. Very top. So it's, it's indeed an honor, and, and Reverend Holmes, you're your, your, your remarks in the opening prayer today were just were, were perfect. Uh, and Maggie is, is a sweet person, but let me tell you what, she is a good person. She's a good, I have seen her for 50 years do what was right, not what was easy. Do what was right, not what was easy. And you know, you know she's always smiling, but I can tell you, as superintendent, and as a senator, when Maggie called, if I didn't answer it, I'd call her back as quick as I could. But I knew, I knew she had something important to say. So for all my career here in this district, in all my different positions, Maggie Lewis has always been a steadfast advisor to me. She didn't always agree with me, and believe me, she would tell you. Some, sometimes, sometimes I didn't realize what she said and how, you know, how poor it was until I got off the phone. I said, well, she just raked me over the coal and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Maggie and Rob, Bobby, I'm so proud of both of you. We know it's a team effort. We know that. And congratulations, Maggie. So proud of you and, and I'm so very proud to call you my friend. Thank you, Senator. Next, we will have our chairperson for the Leon County School Board, Ms. Joy Bowen, will come and give remarks at this time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As chair of the Leon County School Board for at least a few more hours, <laughs> I have the privilege of participating in this well-deserved recognition of Maggie B. Lewis Butler, my friend, cohort, trusted colleague, and travel companion. Maggie and I served on the Leon County School Board together for 20 years under four superintendents, Bill Monfort, uh -huh, Jackie Pons, Jim Cruteau, and current superintendent, Rocky Hanna. However, Maggie and I share a pre-Leon County School history that goes back 57 years ago. When we met as sophomores at the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. In fact, Maggie and her roommate Jeannie, both biology majors, literally threw me a lifeline as I was drowning in biology class. <laughs> Maggie tutored me in biology. And I was so happy, Maggie, to get that D and race all the way down the four steps, you know, over in the science building. So when Maggie was able to get me through biology, I knew that she would be a great science and biology teacher. Given your passion for science, tremendous teaching skills, and your sustained specific passion to obtain the best for Ricketts High School, Maggie, the naming of its science building after you is well-deserved and is the right thing to do. 
You were unrelenting in your drive and focus to ensure that funding was fair and equal, benefiting not only Rickards High School, but all our schools. In advocating for Rickards, you face everything from indifference to outright opposition and ridicule and disparage not only your ideas of justice, equality, and fairness, but also showed a lack of concern for our schools and citizens, and especially the children on the South Side. You knew what we needed. You spoke with a clear voice, even when many were not listening. I know I was there. Naming the science building after you, Maggie, will serve as a constant reminder to current and future students at Ricketts High School of your dedication and your desire for their educational success. But I want you to know, as your friend, I and others admire many, many things about you, Maggie. You have spent your life serving children, their families, the community, the less fortunate in Leon County's community. Don't, don't be deceived. She is small in size and she's gracious, but Maggie has tenaciousness, unrelenting, unvigorously voicing her opinions and is not afraid to stand alone. However, her winning smile and engaging manner is inviting and will win you over to her side as time goes on. Allow me just to list a few of the things that causes me and us to admire my friend Maggie. 30 years as a science teacher. You also held an appointment as an adjunct professor at FAMU, a leader and innovator and model of excellence in the classroom. After retiring from Lee and County Schools, you ran and were elected to and served our school board for 20 years. You led the first effort for building a new Bond Elementary School and the charge for building a new high school on the South Side. You led the charge for numerous changes in policy, <coughs> increased pay for all employees, and other landmark efforts while serving on the school board. All the while, you have remained active in your community, your sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho, the NACP, the John G. Riley House, the Urban League, the Family Alumni Association, and so, so, so many more. All the while, being a devoted wife, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, and still yet a respected pillar in our community. Yeah. Maggie, we admire your stamina, Amen. your tenacity, the compassion, and the downright hard work that you have shown. You have advocated for all of our children on the South Side. It would be well for many of us to emulate what you have shown us through your years of service. Using words, Maggie, penned by others, in addition to the honor of service that we bestow upon you today, know that we love and admire you because you're bold and courageous enough to stand for the truth, to voice your opinion, and fight for the good of others, even when it means sacrificing yourself. You, you persevere. You are steady in a course of action in spite of difficult obstacles. You are loyal in all your relationships. You walk the extra mile. You don't quit when things get tough. Your heart is big enough to help anyone in need. You readily use your talents to assist and make life better for others. You are strong, but not rude. Kind, but not weak. Humble, but not timid. Proud, but not arrogant. Maggie. Thank you for being you. This is a most desired, deserved honor. Thank you for being a friend to this community, and I wish for you a long life, much love and happiness. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Chair Bowen. Next, we have our Vice Chair, Mr. Gerald Jones, from the Leon County School Board. I don't want to follow her. I know that's right, but you're going to have to follow and bring that thunder. Come on up here, Mr. Jones. Bring that thunder now. She brought the lightning. You bring the thunder. Yeah, you bring the thunder back. Look here. 
<laughs> without steeple or pews, mm -hmm. this is the day mm -hmm. clearly that the Lord has made. Amen. Let us rejoice yes. uh -huh. and be glad in it. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. I want to acknowledge the best superintendent in all the entire state of Florida, our superintendent, Rocky Hanna, the principal of the flagship, mm -hmm. Mr. Doug Cook, the finest high school principal in all of Leon County. All right. Amen. To our great leader, Senator Mumford, I am honored to always be in your presence. To all of our electeds, I want y'all to survey the room because this is a historic moment. Absolutely. You see folks from both of our companion jurisdictions, both the city and the county commission. Mm -hmm. Carolyn Cummins of the Leon County Commission. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Diane Williams-Cox of our city commission. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may applaud. Our predecessor, the first African-American man to chair the Leon, the Leon County School Board, Commissioner Curtis Richardson. <laughs> Leon County Commissioner Rick Miner. Mm -hmm. And one of the longest serving principals in all of Leon County Schools, the principal of the Fort Braden Elementary School of District 3 and a member of the Leon County Commission, Mr. Jimbo Jackson. And my colleague, Ms. Roseanne Wood, Leon County School Board. All have saw, as we say in the church, saw it not robbery uh -huh. on well. this Monday morning to come celebrate the queen. If we were in England, they would say, all hail the queen. Now, this is not my first time saying it. I say it every time I am, I am in her presence because as a science professor, she will appreciate this quote by Sir Isaac Newton. If I have seen further, it is because I stand squarely on the shoulders of giants. Miss mm. Maggie Lewis Butler, without the formality of a classroom, for a, more than two decades, provided the consummate example of public service. Her collegiality and her kindness and her compassion served the children of, South, of our Southside schools stretching from Fort Braden to Sable Palm, Bond, Pineview, Oak Ridge, Nims, and the James S. Rickards High School. They had, this community was well aware that they had a qualified leader. For that reason, for 16 of those years, she ran unopposed. You may applaud. Yeah. And the reason for that was because we knew that our schools and our facilities and our children were in good hands. Applaud again. <laughs> I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Mr. Uh, and, and our superintendent most specifically. Following my election, I realized that it was important that we acknowledge what had been her significant history. For until her, until she stepped down, she had been the longest serving member of the Leon County School Board on record. You may applaud again. And so ordinarily, school board members are not acknowledged in this way. But I am grateful for colleagues and a superintendent who understood most clearly mm -hmm. that her career deserved to be memorialized. Absolutely. Reverend Farrell, if I may <clears throat> wax biblically, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we remember the story when the people had been delivered and they told them to gather 12 stones, mm -hmm. that those 12 stones would be assembled and put together that the people might know about the good work of the Lord in delivering his people and the 12 tribes. Well, here today, the Leon County School District takes this moment to assemble countless stones 
to memorialize what has been your great work as a deliverer, as a peacemaker, as an ambassador and ombudsman on behalf of your people. Today and for as long as these bricks will endure and your name sit on that building, we will be reminded of what quality and compassionate public service looks like. Thank you to your Soros of the Beta Delta Sigma chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho. Please stand. We acknowledge you as well. And thank you, Mr. Butler. God bless you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Next, we have Ms. Shay Gasson, Ms. The daughter of Miss Maggie Lewis Butler is going to share some thoughts with us at this time. Oh, there's my other earring, so I found it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's important. <laughs> Thank you. Take this off. Okay, I'll get it later. Thank you. Um, good morning. Um, my name is Shay Gatson, and I'm the eldest daughter of Maggie Lewis Butler. Um, thanks to all of you for the um, Maggie B. Lewis Butler Science Building uh, dedication and for recognizing the good works of our mother. Really appreciate all of you for coming. Uh, mother was so excited for you and proud of you um, and your accomplishments, along with all the contributions you've made in the lives of others and the Leon County community, and you know it's always, it's always something we always say to our mothers, we love you. It's something you should say, even if they know it, you have to tell them. That's right. And so we love you. Um, well, our mother's always an educator. I think you've heard that throughout today, and will want me to get back to basics. And here are some of the ABCs of our honoree. And this is just some of the ways we describe our mother. There's so many other words that I could have used, but I only had a couple of minutes, I think, of <laughs> some others earlier. So um, I'm going to just do the ABCs and keep it short. For some of them, I had to double it up. So you're here. She's an advocate. We've heard that today. Um, she's a believer. We know that. She has character. She's determined and she's a dreamer. She's energetic. I mean, she can probably outdo most of us here. I know she can with me. Um, she's a friend. She's a giver. She's humble. She's inspirational. She's just because she believes in fair, fair, uh, fairness and equity in the lives of everyone. She's kind. She's a leader. She's loving. She's a mother and a great mother. I couldn't ask for any other mother. I'm so glad that she was assigned by God to be my mother and the mother of the children in our family. She's a nurturer, not just to us, but to all the children and to a lot of you that she come in contact with. She's optimistic, always looking for what's right and what's good, and again, what's fair. She's a pioneer. She's qualified. That's really something when you can say all these other words, but also know that she's qualified to do what she does. She's reliable, and you know how important that is. You can count on her to do what she says she's going to do, and even go above that. She's supportive, and I had to add another S. She's a scientist. So she was into STEAM before it even became popular. She's a teacher. She's uplifting. She's a visionary. She's a wife. And she's wise. So I call her the wise wife. She's an X-ray. It's hard, it's hard to find a word for X, right? So I just said X-ray because guess what? She's transparent. She's young at heart. And finally, she has then because she seeks the higher purpose. Amen. So now, um, I w I'm trying to do this with my niece, my niece, which is my mom's granddaughter, could not be here, Whitney, who's 11 years old, couldn't be here today from Atlanta, but she sent just about a 20 second um, video, I can't see the video, but she wants you to hear her words. So I'm gonna try to play it here and put it on the microphone. Sorry. I can get this one. Good morning. 
for the wonderful words that you've shared about my mother because they are all true. true. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Miss Maggie L. Butler. On behalf of James S. Rickers High School Student Government Association, we would like to thank you for leaving a legacy. And we would like to give you this token of appreciation. Thank you. So much. I needed this photo right this morning. Oh. <laughs> Superintendent. Yeah, we'll get those for you, Miss Harris. I'll make sure we get them too. Well, you got your nice sweater now when you come on campus. Thank you. Thank you, students. seem to have a theme here with uh, the Rickards colors are yellow, gold, and, and blue. So we have flowers from uh, the Office of the Superintendent. Also, Dr. Gass has flowers from, from members of the school board. Um, and she has a... Oh, I'm sorry. This is from her sorority, and I dare not name this sorority. I've learned, I've learned her in my time in office. I didn't... Yes, I will get in trouble, so I'm not going to even go there. Uh, but we do have flowers from, from us, the board members, as well as from your sorority, Ms. Ms. Lewis Butler. And, and Mr. Cook mentioned a minute ago, Allison, I'm not sure exactly why you're standing so far back there, but Allison has given countless hours in her weekends, holidays, late at night, early in the morning to oversee this $50 million project. So again, how about a round of applause for Allison Garber? And uh, again, I just want to thank you all for being here. I know we're going to have remarks from our honoree finally, but uh, you're here because you care. You're here because you care. And um, just very grateful and appreciative. Good morning. Um, my name is Dr. Michelle Gale, and at this moment, I am representing our sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, the Beta Delta Sigma chapter, where Maggie Lewis Butler, I knew her as a sorority sister long before I knew her as a school board member, school board chair, scientist, any of that. We just want to bestow you with these yellow tea roses, just letting you know how much we love you, and we appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the National Hookup of Black Women, I, Earlene T. Preston, President, we'd like to present these to you and congratulations to you from all of us. Queen. Yeah, queen. 
you take your time. You sure don't want to move now? I did. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm sincerely grateful and humble regarding this esteemed honor of having the science building bear my name at James S. Rickers High School, home of the Raiders, where there are ex extraordinary leaders, exceptional teachers and staff, scholarly students, and supported and engaged parents and community. STEM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Especially science is very important to me. So to have this particular building named after me is truly an honor and a privilege. I am so, so excited. First, I want to thank God, my deceased parents, Mr. and Mrs. Burt. That's where the B came from. Burt. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> my siblings, my husband, Reverend Robert Butler, my family, including my children, represented by my oldest daughter, you just heard a few minutes ago, Shay Gatson, and her husband is here is also Ransom, of 35 years. Representing my eight grand, my grandchildren, we have my grandson here, Evan Lewis, accomplished with his mother, Gina Joseph. And representing my great grandson and my great grandchildren is Malcolm Gatson. Where are you, Malcolm? Okay. Also, thanks to my granddaughter, Whitney, who will not be here. But she sent a beautiful message. Thanks to my cousins, Amanda and Davey and Joy. I have cousins too, Joy. We always talk about our cousins. That's right. <laughs> Amanda and Davey, raise your hand, okay? My goddaughter, Keisha. Where's Keisha? And a mother, my friend, Laura, who traveled to give me love and support. Thanks to my church family led by Reverend Dr. R.B. Holmes, Jr. and the Leon County community for all your support over the years. Special thanks to Superintendent Rocky Hammer for your leadership during these unprecedented times. And special thanks to board members, Chair Joy Boyne, Vice Chair Dara Jones, Dee Dee Rasmussen is not present. Roseanne Wood, thank you. And Alva Strickland, thank you for your steadfast leadership and resiliency. Please stand, everyone, and let's give the superintendent and the school board members a standing ovation <laughs> for taking care of our most precious investment, our students, and our dynamic teachers and staff. Superintendent Hannah and school board members, we thank you. My heartfelt thanks to Principal Doug Cook, who I spent many hours with and many days with, and Assistant Principal Dr. Baum, a great team. All former and current Rickards students, parents and staff, and the overall Rickards community, thank you. A special thanks to Dr. Michelle Gale, Assistant Superintendent. My sisters, please stand. Simon Gamera Sorority Incorporated. In the house, wearing Rickard's colors. Thank you. Thank you, my sisters. National Hookup of Black Women Incorporated. Sisters, stand, please. Senator and my brother, Senator Bill Moffert. <laughs> City Commissioner Diane William Cox, City Commission Curtis Richardson, County Commission Principal Jimbo Jackson, and also a former student. <laughs> 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 oh, 
biology. I don't know if Alchemy's Bond is here. <laughs> Alchemy's Bond, Emeritus, stand please. Riley House Museum and board members, thank you. Tallahassee Urban League, my former students and godson Dexter and goddaughter uh, Dex and Dream Hogan, stand please. Southside South City Foundation. Are you here? Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you for what you do for the South Side. We need you. Pastors and the Reverend Farrell, stand please. Reverend Farrell, hi. Thanks to all of my loving friends in Tallahassee and out of town for your friendship and support. Many thanks to those who could not attend this morning. Reverend Wright, where are you? That's right. Stands to please. That's right. right. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done for me as well. If I fail to mention anyone or any organization, please charge it to my mind and not my heart. <laughs> please know that you are appreciated. Education has been the cornerstone of my life. And I want all students in Leon County to have access to the best education, technology, and resources available. Again, I'm honored, grateful for this prestigious recognition and educational honor. Thank you, thank you, best wishes, God's blessing during this 2021 to 2022 school year. Thank you. Go. Three, two, one. Shut up. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Miss Chase. Miss Chase. Good job. Thank you.